Hello, what is up guys? I'm your host Gordon and welcome to another one of my video. Today, we got ourselves a Lizzy Gecko 2.0. Yes, this is that Lizzy Gecko. That injection molded knockoff that people are talking about. This is a 2.0 version of that. I've been receiving a lot of messages, I've been receiving a lot of DMs, especially emails to ask me to check this blaster out. And of course, this video wouldn't be possible without the help from Mac Potato for helping me to get this blaster for today's review. To those who do not know Mac Potato, Mac Potato is a local Malaysia foam dart blaster seller who sells rare imported foam dart blaster. To those who are interested in foam dart blaster that eject shells or generally any kind of rare imported foam dart blaster, Mac Potato gets you covered. And the link is in the description down below. In the box, we got the blaster itself, a magazine, a fake scope, 24 darts, a manual, and a bag of conversion kit. Okay, okay, seems like we got a deja vu situation going on here. So throughout the video, I'm gonna call this the KO 2.0 because it's the 2.0 version of that gecko. So if you guys wanted to watch the video for the 1.0 version, the video is in the description down below. So what's the difference? Visually, of course, we got the Picatinny rail over here, which I'm not sure what are you going to attach on it. And of course, having a Picatinny rail over here, making priming the blaster even more painful. Maybe not you but for me yeah it kind of hurts a little bit and if you guys do not like the picatinny rail positioning over here the blaster also come with a bag of conversion kit which allows you to convert the external look back to the 1.0 version which means that the version without the picatinny rail over here and then we got a rubber coated grip which actually feels pretty nice to touch well, for some good reason, the trigger pull of the 2.0 version actually feels slightly better than the 1.0 version. Not sure if it is a placebo effect or not, but that's my opinion. And the biggest changes in the 2.0 version is, of course, the slide lock. And of course, this is not a fake slide lock like the GAT that I reviewed previously. This is an actual real slide lock, which is kind of similar with the S200. Well, since the slide lock from the S200 became a thing, yeah, they've kind of adopted that as well. Whew, speaking of copying. So how does the slide lock works? When you are out of darts, the slide locks itself. And when your blaster is loaded, the slide wouldn't lock itself. So what's interesting about the 2.0 version is that the slide lock release lever shares the same lever with the mag release lever. So in order to release the magazine, you push the lever up there you go, you release your magazine. So in order to release the slide lock, you push the lever down. Other than that, there is also difference in the magazine design. The 2.0 version has a vertical cutout for the spring compression nub, which is crucial for the slide lock mechanism, as it will tell the blaster to engage the slide lock when the mag is empty. As you can see, if I use the 1.0 version magazine, which does not have the spring compression nub, it will not engage the slide lock when the mag is empty. Other improvements such as the air seal is actually slightly better in the 2.0 version as compared to the 1.0 which is still not the best but it is at least better than the previous one. So I would still suggest changing the o-rings and adding teflon tapes for you know a better air seal. By the way a full mod guide for the Lizzie is coming soon so definitely stay subscribed if you want to watch that video. So I guess that's what you get in the 2.0 version. The quality is the same, the material is the same, the cylinder looks like it is the same, the barrel is of course the same as well, it is aluminium and of course the 2.0 get a slightly better air seal but I don't think that it is good enough. And of course the 2.0 version still can't take talent mag unless you send out the internals. Since the blaster came with you know really crappy darts in today's test, I will be using the dart zone max darts. So without further ado, let us go test the blaster out.
For the accuracy test, 10 meters is as far as I can go because I'm not staying in a very big apartment. Okay, okay, so we can see that there is a slight performance bump in the 2.0 version. So this blaster can shoot from 101 FPS all the way to 109 FPS. The accuracy of the blaster is more or less the same with the 1.0 version, maybe just slightly better I would say. So far operating this blaster, I did not encounter any jams yet, which is a plus point. I mean overall the best thing of the blaster is of course the slide lock. This is really satisfying. And of course, with the Picatinny reel positioning over here, priming the blaster for a prolonged period of time kind of make my hand sore. And one more thing that you have to take note is that the 2.0 version is actually slightly more expensive than the 1.0 version. So yup, that's all for today guys. Like this video if you like it, dislike this video if you do not like it, subscribe if you haven't already, and of course, I'm gonna see you in the next video. Adios, guys! Yeah.